Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can easily and quickly add textures to your lights. In this case, these lights are actually emissive materials that you create in the form of an active light. As you can see in my level, I already have this neon tube or pillar that is actively emitting light, it's a reddish tint and I would like to add a texture to it that would make it not like a simple solid color but also provide it with some different type of texture. To do that, the process is actually pretty simple and straightforward. I simply need to first of all, of course, open the same light which is neon one or the same emissive material, so we don't get confusions between the lights and emissive material. This is actually an emissive material that will get its own texture. From here on out, I'm going to simply import an existing texture. I'm going to close this, not actually, I'm going to de-dock it, and I'm going to extrude it here. And now in my starter content, I'm going to open my textures folder, here it is, and I'm going to add a really cool, cool, cool fire tile texture, as you can see you have it in your starter content as well, by simply dragging and dropping it here. As you can see, now I'm going to extend this once again, we have our texture sample. Now a small explanation, you can also find this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video on how, make, how to make emissive lights or emissive materials and neon lights in my older videos, so check these out. These are the necessary elements for the same emissive material. As you can see, there is a multiply node, there is also another node here dictating the amount or the intensity of the same emissive value, all of them feeding into an emissive color. Now. I need to add this texture sample also to the same emissive color node. To do that, I'm going to simply move this a bit further. I'm going to also break this connection by holding the Alt key. And I'm going to add another multiply node, as you can see here, by simply copying this one and pasting it here. You get this 01 notification. And then I'm going to connect my old emissive material to the B node and the texture sample to the A node. From there on out, I'm going to connect these to the emissive color. Now I need to save and wait for a few seconds while all of that loads and gets its preview. And from there on out, I will have the combo of the actual emissive element which is my older one and the new texture which looks awesome. Now I'm going to go back to the level and see my pillar right here. Now I'm going to make it a bit bigger so it's more clearly visible. Let's move it about, extrude it, yeah and let's see it in the game itself. And there you have it, there is the texture, it looks, well, it looks awesome. And you have those elements that of course provide the emissiveness in a different setup. It's not simply having the texture that isn't impacted on the emissiveness, the emissiveness looks differently as well. And this is how you basically add texture to any emissive emissive texture on emissive material to blend it and get pretty cool results, at least in my view. So again, the process is really simple. You build upon the same emissiveness that you already have and connect it with the texture of the same material to get your new result, which again, looks pretty awesome. Of course, all of these nodes are open to editing, to changes and modifications like the emissiveness, the amount of emissiveness and so forth, as well as texture itself. But that is the basic process. That's all for this beginner tutorial video. Thank you so much for being here and watching 
till the very end. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support my channel, there is a super easy, super simple way to do it. Just subscribe and like this video. You can also send it to your friends who are starting out in Unreal Engine. There is a bunch of other ways how you can support me. I got a Patreon page. I have some books I'm selling on Amazon and a lot of different things as well. But if that's too much, usually it is. A simple subscribe would be more than enough. That's all for me. Thank you so much for checking out this video and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.